In this AI demo, I'm going to be speaking to an AI therapist that took me just 30 seconds to set up uh, and sharing that experience with you. I'm here logged into the Hume.ai playground and Hume.ai is an ELLM. The E stands for empathetic, meaning that emotions come through in the LLM. And they've got over a decade of experience analyzing both vocal expressions and facial expressions so that they go into how the LLM understands you and interprets you. So I thought, yeah, this is the perfect, uh, perfect instance to try and test out a therapist AI. So all I did was take their motivational coach prompt, run it through OpenAI and say, turn this into an AI therapist. So I've not even looked through all this, but it just seems generally kind of what I'd expect a therapist to respond. So shall we start the call? Well, yeah, let's call my therapist. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, thanks. How are you feeling today? Well, it's a Monday, so I'm actually feeling a little bit low. I am sorry to hear that you're feeling a bit low today. Mondays can be tough for many people. Would you like to talk more about what's been on your mind? Yeah, I've just been, you know, just thinking about the work week up in, up ahead. And I know that I'm someone who needs to plan. Otherwise, I easily feel overwhelmed by a to-do list. Um, I mean, do you have any recommendations for me? It sounds like you're feeling a mix of emotions as you think about the upcoming work week and the need to plan ahead. Uh, it's great that you're aware of your tendency to feel overwhelmed by to-do lists. One recommendation I have is to break down your tasks into smaller, more manageable steps. This can help prevent the feeling of being overwhelmed and make it easier to stay organized. Additionally, setting realistic goals for each day can help you feel more in control and less stressed. How does that sound to you? I'm going to try and just play with it, see what emotions come through. That sounds good, but I could really do with cheering up. Can you tell me a joke? Oh, and the call's ended. Anyway, let's go ahead and look at what's what's happened here. Uh, Hume is is quite new. Their playground only came accessible to me a week or so ago. Um, but we can see that every single time that both the assistant and the user engages with each other, we get uh, a breakdown of detected expressions. So we get empathetic pain coming through here. It just isn't that cool. Remember, there's like over 60 different metrics being analyzed here. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's a demo with me and an AI therapist. If you're wanting to build uh, your own web app and you're wanting to build your own startup, then click the link down in the description because at planetnoco.com, we've got courses, we've got tutorials to help you out on that journey. And if uh, you've got any thoughts about this demo, if you think uh, AI therapists are going to take over, leave a comment down. We'd love to hear your views. Uh, personally, I think that this is really exciting. We're seeing AI move into a move 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 into a realm which was previously not thought possible i remember reading a few years ago that uh when chat gpt came out that ai is going to take our jobs but the pastoral jobs will be safe well we're getting hints here certainly coming across in this uh impressive bit of software by hume that ai uh is going to surpass humans ability to detect another human's emotion at least in that instance and that ability to react on the spot uh to the uh verbal cues and the facial cues that someone is giving off and i think that this has got enormous power for impacting mental health in a positive way all around the globe because it means that whereas someone may have to pay 50 dollars for a therapy session it's probably going to cost $5 at most to talk to a AI therapist. Of course, there's loads of ethical um, and privacy concerns that need to be worked through. But I'd seriously recommend checking out Hume because they are an AI company that are putting human flourishment and well-being at the front of their development.